Hello, beautiful it's me Fern here, and today, today, I literally just got back from school like 15 minutes ago. I checked my phone to see what's going on, and it seems like Nintendo themselves, Pokemon, not actually Nintendo, but Game Freak, Pokemon Company, have done something interesting. They have leaked a new Pokemon on their own site. I always, I always had a feel that they would start doing this. They, they know how much the leaks bring traction to not not necessarily traction just attention to their games it is one of the biggest selling points and so they finally dipped their toes in it and and have made a leak on their own site as you can see there's this thing up here they want to they want to touch it now i click on it it brings us this screen. and then the rotom then the rotom cry and then we do this again and here we go uh all we all we have is this image um it is a fighting type Pokemon uh, with the ability Steadfast. Only blank that survive many battles can attain this uh, form. When this Pokemon's blank, it will retire from combat. Now, here's here's the thing that a lot of people have been saying. A lot of people have been saying that this is uh, Surfetched. That this is Farfetch's Galarian Evolution. Um... Uh, cause that would, uh, that would, that makes sense. Only far fetched to survive many battles can attain this form. When this Pokemon's leak, um, when this Pokemon's stick something errs, it will retire from combat. I can't think of a word. The only word I can think of is falters. This it will retire from combat, but I don't think that they would do. Think I don't think they would put it like that. So, uh, it's pure fighting. So part of me, so. So it, it's kind of hard to to think too much. Uh, it's kind of hard to put something too much on it because uh, um, what Farfetch is a normal flying type, and to go from normal flying to pure fighting is kind of weird. It would make sense that if it was a Galarian form, um, would uh, it would, yeah, it would make sense if it was a Galarian form, uh. Which would be again be cool and be giving attention to Farfetch that it's long deserved. Um, obviously, we don't know too much about it, but I think there's a trailer coming really soon. Uh, this was a super interesting way to reveal stuff, and I really like the way they did. This reminds me back to X and Y days when leaks were all were, when leaks were when when leaks seem sort of like this seems like sort of a callback to the X and Y leak days. Um, those, those were so much fun, so great to think of and speculate and stuff like that, and it was, a, it was so much fun, and I really like that Game Freak has done this, or Pokemon Company, whoever did it, whoever did it, I really like that they did. Um, it, it, it brings about a sense of, of mystery, of, uh, of just, it, it I can't really word it any, any way else, it just brings upon a sense of mystery and what's gonna happen which was the problem with sun and moon it wasn't like that there we we knew everything and actually we only actually it's kind of funny the amount of uh when it comes to how much they've dialed back i mean not so much funny but like the amount that they've dialed back when it comes to information is crazy because i mean if you scroll down we only have three six nine twelve fifteen eighteen twenty one New Pokemon given to us. By this point in the Sun and Moon, we had we had over double that. This could be seen as a good thing. It can be seen as a bad thing. I don't really know. All I know is I want more, and I want more soon. We still don't have the starter evolutions. They don't have to give us. They don't. They might not even give us the final evolution. They didn't do that in X and Y. They got leaked early, which was an, which was another really interesting thing. Um, they but they at least give us the second forms, like. At least, at least give us that. Um, I, I'm trying to, um, I'm just trying to think of, let's see, we literally have two months till this game comes out. It's seeing how there's this, I think that there's going to be a trailer coming out next week. I think we're going to get something about this, um, about this Pokemon right here, and hopefully more next week. Um... Because obviously it's a Friday. They, uh, they don't Saturdays and Sundays. They don't reveal stuff. They reveal stuff during the week, and I think next week is going to be when they're going to do it. 
Uh, it's a really good time too. They need to start pushing out the information a lot more. Uh, and so I really think that we're going to get something really soon. Uh, with that being said, I've been in front of also beautiful, lovely people again next time.